Hi everybody, Colleen here from Feel Great Reflexology and Massage Cupping. Today we are talking about mint. This is spearmint. It grows in my backyard. It grows and flourishes beautifully. Um, I had one small plant many years ago and now I have a bush back here. It actually grows behind my barbecue um, and I love it. It comes back on its own every year and I don't need to do anything to it. And whenever I um, have the desire for a cup of mint tea, I come out and I uh, take some mint leaves or a sprig of mint from my backyard garden and I make some tea. I can use it for cooking and um, I even freeze it. So um, mint, it is wonderful. I'm gonna make some tea with it now and I'll show you how I do that. And you know what, I gotta tell you, it's great for drying. You can dry mint tea leaves and stems and um, you can have it for wintertime tea. After your fresh mint has bloomed, you're still getting the benefits of your mint plant. So I hope if you decide to have a mint plant, a spearmint plant, um, you'll use it the way I use it. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm back from the garden after picking some mint, some spearmint, and I'm gonna make some tea with it. And I've already boiled my water, and I'm just gonna pick a few of the mint leaves off of here, and put them in my teacup, and then I am going to pour my hot water on my mint leaves. And if I wanna get the oils from the mint out, what I do is I kind of crush them. I'll even tear them. Mm, and then you'll really smell the oils from the mint and you will have a very aromatic mint tea. So tea time. I hope you'll try some mint tea. I hope you'll grow some mint tea. I let it steep for about five minutes. Um, it's very light um, and it uh, is not overly pungent or overly strong. So you can let it steep for um, five minutes and you'll notice that the scent and the aroma will come out and it will be even stronger after um, steeping for a while. So uh, I hope you'll try it. And um, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I hope you'll try it. 